Essential Tennis is the, the, the best online tennis instruction place to go to because they've got the, the highest level of instruction, the highest quality content, and best of all, it seems to attract the most passionate, best people you will ever meet in the game of tennis. We're gonna get like between 20 and 25 people. There's only a handful of people here from Wisconsin. Uh, we've got a couple from California, a couple from Washington State, Texas, New York, Tennessee, Michigan, uh, Minnesota, uh, all over the place. Um, so it's really exciting to see everybody uh, here. It's gonna be a great day. Uh, hopefully all the production stuff is all set up. I don't know what's going on over there. Um, but I'm just checking people in right now. We got about 10 minutes until we really kind of kick things off. And then it'll pretty much just be nonstop all day. But I mean, the main thing today is it's just super cool to see to see people travel from, from all over the place. Yeah, I'm Jeremy from Madison, Wisconsin. St. Louis. I'm from Sarasota, Florida. Greenwich, Connecticut. I'm really grateful for the support that we have but the best part, the best part is, and this is why the internet is so amazing. The best part is, it's a mutual thing. Like they all are just as appreciative as we are of this experience. So it's it's pretty awesome. Come on in, guys. Come on in. Welcome. Good to have everybody here. Uh, the way I like to open all of these is always with with gratitude. Uh, we're we're super appreciative of the support that all of you guys have given us over the years. There's a lot of you here that have been supporting me since the beginning, 10 years ago. And 10 years ago, there's no chance I would have thought that I'd have other pros working with me. There's no chance I would have thought we'd have production people and, and whatnot. Um, and so it's not just for me, you know, that I'm grateful. It's for everybody else that, that works at Essential Tennis. Without a team effort, there's no way that we'd be able to help you guys to the extent that we do. So, um, and at this point, just the full-time staff, there's 10 children that are supported by uh, all of you. So, uh, so thank you. So that's probably the most important thing for me. As long as you know, I'm grateful that you're here. Uh, every, everything else will go smoothly. <laughs> uh, just to give you a little uh, roadmap of what's going on today. The way we've broken today up is this morning, we're going to do an hour and a half on, on baseline focus elements. Then we're going to do an hour and a half on net play focused elements. We're going to break for lunch and in the afternoon we're going to do singles strategy and we're going to do double strategy and we're going to do serve and return. <laughs> so obviously this is going to, you know, we're going to keep things moving quickly. Uh, if you guys could do your best to really kind of stay sharp and uh, stay attentive, that would, that would help a lot because we're going to be doing a lot of moving back and forth. And basically the, the cadence that we're going to keep throughout the day is we're going to get together like this. We'll explain what we're working on next. We'll probably have a couple pros demonstrate whatever it is that the element is that we're, we're working on. And then we'll have you guys go back to your court and work on it while the pros move around and help you in your execution. Depending on where you're from and how much stuff we do, do take the time to drink water. I know for some of us it doesn't feel as hot. For some of us it may feel kind of hot. Just make sure you stay hydrated, it's really important. Okay, so just to really start off, um, we're going to just do uh, some jogging. And so all we're going to do is jog in place and slightly go forward. And then follow me. So we're going to come forward nice and easy. If you have a good range, go ahead and take it. If you don't, totally fine. Do what works for you. We're going to come all the way to the double sideline. Then we're going to turn around. Wow, all four on this group. Yeah. It's just like anything else in life. The the things that are most important are the most basic, and those are the things that most people don't do. And so in tennis, that thing is the split step. It's like, it initiates everything. Either sets you up for success, or leaves you reactionary, and, and clunky, and non-athletic. And the best percentage of players I've ever seen using a split step in a clinic is 50%. And this group is just, just below 50%. Which is which is really good. Like you, you you audit your average group of of 
recreational amateur tennis players and it's like and nobody uh, nobody nobody does it so close to 50 percent is extremely high but that means half the people here are missing a really critical part yeah this whole court is split stepping which is it's one of the lower which court was it maybe it wasn't this court I thought I had a whole court, one of the lower courts that was... I haven't seen him yet. Oh, there it is. Oh, oh, baby. Oh, baby. Oh, baby split step. step. But she's done a corner. She's in Academy for nine months, and so is she. Yeah. yeah. So I think those people are the... You did the demo? Yeah. Uh, sure. Split step. Right. Like, Can we go the other way? way? Sam up on the <laughs> I love Sam. He's dry. Sam is like, Sam's like National Geographic, like, artsy. Photographer guy. Whenever Sam disappears, you know he's someplace like shoot, creating some zen angle or other. Everybody, come on into our home base, please. Grab a drink, please. Quick drink. All right. A couple of you know what's about to happen. Every time I do a clinic, every time the first thing we start with is an audit of who's split stepping and not and who's not split stepping. Oh wow. <laughs> The website. <laughs> the website is called Essential Tennis, and that's because we focus very, very narrowly on the most fundamental, critical elements to success. And there's nothing more fundamental than the split step. It either sets you up to be proactive and athletic and move smoothly, or on the flip side, be reactive and unathletic and slow. I'd like you all to watch Kevin and Megan, please. They're gonna engage in a rally here. And they're gonna be hit by stuff. Don't watch the ball. I shouldn't see anybody's head swiveling back and forth. Just watch Megan's feet. And I want you to listen for the ball to be struck by Kevin. Don't watch the ball. Just listen for it and watch Megan's feet. And watch how the balls of her feet touch down on the court lightly, right as you hear the ball be hit out of your left ear from Kevin. It's gonna feel forced right now. It's gonna feel like you're uh, you're making it happen. It'll feel clunky and it won't feel very smooth or athletic. That's how all new things feel at first when it's not a habit yet. So give it a chance, give it, we're gonna just spend five minutes letting you guys practice it. If you were doing it already, great. Really be conscious of your timing and try to nail the instant when the ball touches your partner's racket. Okay, go back to the court you were just on. Pros will be Wandering around, helping you out. Jeff. That's our ET high five. Did you know that? It's the highest of fives. Exactly. Highest. Whatever you just said, essential tennis, we call it essential tennis because it means the fundamentals of what? Because we have a narrow focus on the most fundamental elements of the game. That's what the teacher is saying. That's a lot. But in a simpler, we can simplify yeah, sure. it. At first. At first. Yeah. But we're going to go through balls like right. to this many people right, compared right. to a closed neck. Um, how about have them uh, drop a hit back and forth? Okay. Yeah, that's a better idea. Okay. Look at that collaboration. Yeah. Are they rallying at all? Are no, just around? maybe drop. Before yeah. we go to that, I'm going to have them go back to the baseline. And so we'll get some baseline warm up first. Okay, cool. Yeah, let's have them do 10 foot drop hit, other person catches. Catch. Yeah, yeah, okay. And we'll, and we'll demo that so it's yeah. pretty clear. Thanks for watching. This is just the first part. There was a tremendous amount that happened during that clinic day with our academy students. Just a huge amount of stories and connection with students as well as coaching and instruction and guidance that we gave players. So just want to let you know that we're breaking it up into parts. It might be two parts, it might be three, we're not sure yet, but this is the end of part one. So make sure you keep an eye on our feed, whether you're watching on YouTube or LinkedIn or Facebook or wherever, uh, keep an eye out because there's gonna be much more coming very soon.